So today we're making a motor mount for the G0704 CNC. This is my second conversion. Um, we're updating the machine to have a Marathon Y522 three-phase one and a half horsepower motor. And I've done most of the mechanical work <clears throat> and the control panel has been underway for some time. Here we are knocking out a piece of aluminum. We need about a six and a half inch square, which we're going to have to chop down on the bandsaw, which of course doesn't have a six and a half inch capacity. So challenges abound in just uh, getting the raw stock to size so that we can do some machining on it. And here we are with the three quarter inch plate set up on the bandsaw. It's too big for one pass, so we flipped it over and surprisingly, and maybe for the first time, the lines actually matched up and we got it knocked down to size. We're gonna take that uh, rough sawn uh, piece of stock over to the mill and square up two sides. Again, too big for a side mill, so we've got this kind of janky setup, quarter inch end mill. Um, and we were able to square that up and that gives us something to actually go to the surface plate and do some mark out. Um, so we've got the uh, surface plate uh, piece mounted on the surface plate and we'll get the final dimensions of the outside and then there's a bunch of mounting holes, uh, 3 8 inch counter bores for the motor uh, to mount to the face plate and some quarter inch relief slots that will actually go to the motor mount arms that attach to the head. Uh, we'll cover that in another video. Um, so this is just a bunch of manual layout. Obviously if the CNC existed uh, and was working, we could just pop this on the CNC. And then here we're marking out the center. Uh, this will eventually be drilled out and bored for a four and a half inch center hole, which will create its own set of challenges. Uh, and we'll save that for another video. And here we're milling the end plates down to size. We've got uh, a little bit to take off to kind of square up the last two sides. And uh, just using a quarter inch end mill, it was mounted and seemed easier. In order to drill all the holes, we're moving the uh, vice jaws out to the outside. As I said before, uh, this piece was just a little bit too big in every dimension, uh, too large to fit inside the five inch uh, vice jaws. So we've got this one corner that we can work with and we'll just keep rotating the part. Uh, positions have been located, spot drill, 3 16 clearance drill. And then uh, we'll come in here with a counter bore uh, for a 3 16 cap head, uh, socket head cap screw. And I kind of bozoed this up and didn't take them deep enough. Uh, so when I came back to do the final assembly, I ended up having to take those down a little bit more. Here we're getting set up to do the quarter inch relief slots. So these are the slots that will actually... Um, mount the motor plate to the motor arms uh, and I have some video on that. We'll cover that in another segment. And more and more of that. So with the slots cut, we transition to a three quarter inch end mill and we're just providing some relief cuts for the uh, quarter inch cap head screws, socket head uh, cap screws <coughs> that will attach to the mounting arms. And uh, I didn't give this a whole lot of thought. It was on the print and I, I cut it as needed. There's more than enough clearance on top of the plate uh, without providing this relief. So it appears to be uh, at least in my use, uh, particularly uh, cosmetic only. And uh, we just knock out all four corners of that. <laughs> so 
So in an upcoming video, I'll show you uh, laying out and cutting the motor mount arms that will attach to the head and to which the faceplate will attach. Um, I have those uh, ready and most of the video captured just takes a little bit of time to edit. Uh, hey, thanks for watching and be sure to click subscribe and notify for more videos.